Alrighty guys, welcome to the Jeep vlog. Um, I figure every everybody's done the brakes on a Chrysler before, so just basically give you a vlog of what's been going on. So, basically I'm going to talk about the new shop, what's supposed to happen, <laughs> whether it's going to or not is a total different story. Alright, so you'll have to excuse my coughing every once in a while because I've got a wicked, wicked thing. And uh, so I'm getting the new shop and the whole plan is, see Jeremy, um, my buddy Jeremy, actually uh, my daughter Rebecca's boyfriend's dad, mom and dad, I've known Jeremy for... Oh Christ, many, many years. Uh, we've crossed paths so many times in the past 20, 25 years, it's ridiculous. Um, me and my buddy, we used to build um, uh, Chevettes. We used to put 350s in them and V6s and stuff like that. And Jeremy knew my buddy Mark. Um, but yeah, we'd cross paths here and there a thousand times. And his wife, Brenda, I've known her for 15, 20 years. Um, I used to work at the factory while she worked in the front. Um, yeah, at the factory, she worked in the um, office. I worked in the back of the warehouse, um, forklift and everything else. So, um, yeah, so it was really odd not being, not seeing my daughter in so long. And then finding out she's dating the son of friends of mine for years. <laughs> so, yeah, it just turned out really weird that way. So anyway, Jeremy's son Dylan, um, Rebecca's boyfriend, he has a first generation Ford Explorer that he's building. And it's been sitting in their carport forever now because of the fact that he doesn't have a place to build it, right? And Jeremy likes working on stuff. He's actually a warranty repair guy. And um, he repairs uh, tools and everything like that. So Jeremy needs a place where he can piss around on stuff, uh, help Dylan build his truck and teach him how to do everything. My daughter, she's looking for a 4x4 truck. And uh, just give me a second. I need some tools here. Boy. So he's looking for a, um, she's looking for a truck because and but she's really specific on her truck. It has to be a standard. Um, <laughs> there's hundreds and hundreds of trucks out there, but none that are standard. So it's really hard find my daughter a, a like a Ford Ranger um, that's a standard and four-wheel drive and everything else she wants so it's we're gonna find one it's just a matter of time Jesus. There we go. It's just a matter of time so that's still in the waiting oh, I spend so much time pulling out a freaking socket in the wrong size <laughs> so anyway so Jeremy and his son are going to come in on the uh, on uh, part of the rent for the shop, which is awesome. Um, the shop, it's, it's it's average going rate for the square footage we got. It's actually 30, 33 by 60 or 65, something like that. Oh, pain in my ass, rusty bolts. So it's 33 by 65, and uh, yeah, I gotta build my office, of course, because I gotta have my couch. Um, like some of you know, and some of you don't. Most people from the farm know, is you know, I don't have the best back in the world, so I have to lay down every so often to stop my fucking spine from compressing. So, like, even sitting it uh, is a pain in the ass because I'm still upright. So, yeah, that's the main reason I've got a couch everywhere I am. <laughs> so, um, 
but yeah, everything's going to work out really awesome. That compressor you've seen in the video, I actually bought that compressor um, because it's definitely going to be needed, something that size. And basically all, basically all the lines have been run so we have air throughout the whole place and the guy's even going to leave behind a couple uh, air lines, rubber air lines for us. Um, so that's really awesome. We have some uh, pallet racking we can use and oh, it's just going to be an awesome experience, right? It's going to be everything I've been wanting to do for a long time, but even better because my family's in on it. And you know, Brandon's putting his cut in because he's going to need a place. He's got, he bought himself a spare ranger. Um, because he wants to take the Dana 35 axles out of it and uh, just because the Dana 28s and his are just a little too small um, so he's bought himself a spare truck so that needs to be stripped down and I don't know if you, where you guys live but we've got blowing wind and minus 11 Celsius out there right now so <laughs> that's definitely an indoor job so being, being it all family is just going to be absolutely great. And it really helps me a lot because of the fact that, as you can see, the confined space I'm working in here right now, like just to do the rears, I'm going to have to open the door, let all the heat out, dry, drive it out, turn it around, bring it back in, you know? Like I knew coming into this, it's not going to be big enough for what I actually want to use it for. And you know, I've got a lot of projects that I have in my head I want to build, but the fact is, I've really only got one day. So I can't very well start a project, get caught up into it, end up with a vehicle needing work. You know, somebody's friend or whatever is broke down and needs, needs work done on his car. And what happens with my project in the middle of the floor? I've got nowhere to put it, so I've got no room to do the work. So, it's going to be for the plus all around. You know, like, um, my daughter, she's going to go through school. Um, she's going to get her Class A mechanics license. So, that's just absolutely great because she'll be able to learn hands-on as she's going to school. So... That's a big, huge plus there, and I couldn't be any prouder, you know? <laughs> oh. yeah, don't use a screwdriver for that. <laughs> Get a pry bar. But yeah, with all the stuff I have around, all the stuff I have around here, it's like real pain in the butt. Um, you know, trying to get to benches and stuff like that with stuff being in the way is just getting absolutely ridiculous on the stuff that got accumulated. Um, and there's still more to come, you know, like tools are never ending. You're always upgrading and buying specific tools to do specific jobs. You know, they end up paying for themselves in the end, but in my case here, it just takes up more and more space. So, that is absolutely cool. Okay. It's a mechanics wire. Yeah, and the guy, the guy we're actually renting off, he is a really, really awesome guy. Um, you know, he's been catering to us like you wouldn't believe, because like any, any place, you want to get along with the people, um, in neighboring units and stuff like that. And this guy, you know, like, he knows what we're all about, what our ideas are, and he's all for it, right? Because like anybody else, he owns a... He owns a roofing company. Um, I can't remember the actual name of it, but uh, and on the side he does the exact same thing. You know, he likes actually. They're putting. Uh, he's got bikes and he's putting a 
turbo on one of the bikes, which is like, I don't know, ridiculously um, fast. <laughs> I'm not a crotch rocket guy myself. Last crotch rocket I had, I had it for two weeks and sold it because I knew I'd be dead. So, uh, but to each your own when it comes to bikes. And I only say that, I'm not saying they're un crotch rockets are unsafe, I'm just saying the guy behind the wheel or behind the handlebars is unsafe, and that'd be me. <laughs> because I like to, I'm the type of guy who pushes the limits of everything. You only live once, eh, make do with what I, make do with the time I have, right? Enjoy it the way I want. Maybe a little more crazy than some, but that's just me. <laughs> some people go on about, oh, every, you know, shit you do is dangerous. Well, uh, there are more dangerous sports out there. <laughs> but you're all for that. Because it makes for good TV watching. <laughs> so, buddy? You gonna help? There you want a rotor? You want a rotor? There you go. Alright. Yeah, so as for this shop, I'm actually going to still be using it. I'm actually going to still be coming around here because of the fact that what you guys don't see behind the camera, as most of you know, Rob's in a wheelchair. And his, his wife, she isn't all much better. You know, she's had surgery top to bottom. So, being the friend I am, I actually look after them, you know, I don't ask anything for it, it's just, you know, hey, you got to look after your friends, right? So, it's not hard pressed to see me in their place if their floor needs washing, I'm on my hands and knees washing the floor. If their dishes get too uh, piled, I'll go in there and do it. Don't don't wait for them to ask me to do anything. They have never asked me to do anything. Just out of the goodness of my heart, I do this stuff. And that's the problem these days. People don't think of that. People don't take care of each other. They always think, me, 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 me. Well, I, if anybody knows me, I'm the total opposite. You can ask anybody. The only person I think of, I'm the very last person I think of. Maybe that's why I'm not successful. Who knows? Maybe not. You know? I don't care. But I'm living my life the way I want to live it. And that's, to me, is all anybody could ask for. I'm happy with it, so... If other people aren't, too bad. Yeah, like, I've got a cold, everything like that, and I'm the first person out there last night when it was, at first it snowed, then it started raining, so all the snow turned to a heavy slush, and I'm the first person out there shoveling off their, the deck that I built for them, um, shoveling off the deck, making sure around they can get into the car if something happens, you know. It's all shoveled, ready to go, right? <laughs> but, I guess that's the price you pay for being a nice guy. People always dogging you the way you live your life. Well, that's the way I live my life. <laughs> to help others, because I didn't have much help growing up. I grew up the hard way like everybody else, you know? You did everything on your own. And sometimes you just wish that per other person was there to help you. Well, 
if anything, I can be that other person to somebody else. It's like this other guy uh, on YouTube. He messaged me on YouTube and said, Hey, uh, Rick, I live in London. Do you... And the comment is actually on one of my videos somewhere. Just one of the comments I read. He's like, do you know anybody who can give me a hand? Well, I went out of my way and I got him some help. And uh, he ended up paying, you know, to do it. So right away, I handed the money over to the guy. I, uh, Even though I helped and everything like that, I handed the money over to my buddy who had the truck to help him move and stuff like that. You know, he gave me some money out of it, and we just ended up going and spending on coffee and and fuel. <laughs> but, you know, it's always nice being that guy that people can turn to. It will be there for you, you know. And yes, in my lifetime, a lot of people have taken that to their advantage. But you find out who your true friends are. Unfortunately, at the cost of a lot, but I've lost thousands to find out who my actual friends are, but don't much care. Money is replaceable. Friends aren't. So, yeah, this new shop is going to be absolutely great. Um, it's gas heating, um, so that is just a 10 times bonus in itself, because it's, I know this is Rob's truck, um, but uh, regular friends or acquaintances that I fix their vehicles, you know, when they pick up their truck or their vehicle, it actually smells a bit like wood stove because I heat this place with a wood stove and uh, yeah that's not always the best and you know like sure Rob my buddy Rob here with the Jeep he could be out here doing this right but he's like me um, doesn't do too well in cold weather but I'm a little stronger to be able to deal with it because I've lived my whole life in pain so it doesn't bother me. Damn it. So that's just something I'm used to. If I hurt myself doing something, to me, it just takes the pain off of other places. <laughs> Don't think about that. <laughs> Call me nuts, but that's the way I am. Uh, yeah, so trying to figure out what I'm going to do for lighting in the new place because I'd like to, it's got fluorescent lighting, um, the fluorescent, let's say the screw-in bulbs, it's got the fluorescent screw-in bulbs, so it's a little bit cheaper on hydro, but I'm actually looking to get into LEDs, so I've been searching uh, LED lighting. And I did get an offer from a company to do some reviews on LED lighting. But, unfortunately, uh, I haven't got a response back. Well, I did get a response back, but uh, they haven't sent anything yet. So, so hopefully that'll work out. See, this is a pain in the ass, too. I gotta get a light. In a minute. Oh. <coughs> Missing the hook. 
<laughs> which makes it a pain in the ass. But it was free. Yeah, I figured I'd give you a lowdown on everything that's been going on lately. Alrighty. Easy peasy Japanesey. Oh, get the wheel back on and we're good to go. Uh, I hate when peop other people use my tools because they put them in the wrong spot. I had a 14 and in a 19 slot, I had a 15 and a 17 slot. A <laughs> little bit anal when it comes to my tools. Just because I like to know where they are. So that's one down. job well done. Just got three more corners to do. <laughs> so as you can probably tell my cramped quarters here I won't have that problem because the door is 12 foot. The door is 12 foot by 14. It's got the 18 foot ceilings and the previous renter um, had two transport trucks in there so plenty of room it's got a full washroom uh, well a uh, shitter and sink and it's got instant gas fired hot water so that's going to be cheap to run and i think things are going to look up pretty good over there so i think you guys would be I think you guys will be looking forward to seeing the build of Dylan's truck, putting the lift kit and everything on it. And as I said, that's been two years in the making just because they have not had the space to do it. for the new compressor. <laughs> it's a seven horse, 16 and a half cubic feet a minute. And I can take a wheel off without having to pause the video and 
re uh, fire up the compressor so you can hear me. <laughs> so the whole idea behind the uh, the office and mezzanine is to have a pool table. You know, bloke's gonna be around a lot more. You'll see. Um, he's actually gonna come out and uh, bring all his uh, construction tools and help me with building the office and mezzanine. And uh, it's going to be strong enough to support a pool table and some chairs and stuff up top. Because back in the day, me and Bloke, every Friday night, go on the Pink Floyd, shoot some pool and drink some JRs all night. As you can probably tell there's grooves in the rotor that shouldn't be there. And whoever replaced this found out why there's some uneven rare, uneven wear. Whoever replaced this caliper before, look at the boot. It's absolutely squashed. Shit. Absolutely squashed. The boot caught, went over went over so that's not good whoever replaced those uh, before screwed up screwed up so I'm gonna have to find a boot for that and get it replaced but for now We'll make sure it's put in proper. <laughs> and that's just basically to prevent it from seizing, the pin from seizing. So, we'll get this back together. I hope you guys enjoy my little vlog here. It's basically just shooting the shit. I'm trying to make things better for everybody. And now that the snow's here, I've really got to get that track machine done so Rob can actually get around in the winter time. May not be a lot for some of you folk, but me, seeing your buddy not being able to get mobile in the winter just to go to the store or even to the doctors, like not even a block away, um, yeah, it's just not cool, you know? So I take it upon myself to help people. And that's how I've always lived my life. Hasn't been the greatest, but hasn't been the greatest for me, but but I actually enjoy it. Putting smiles on other people's faces is what I live for. I sure the hell ain't gonna be on this earth forever. But I will be remembered. And for good things, not bad things. How many of you can say that? Well, I'm sure a lot of you can, but that's what everybody should strive for. Being remembered for being the good person. Take pride in that. Okay, so that's that. 
already tested the bowl joints they're really good um, tie rods are a little bit loose on this truck but they're not not bad at all they're still tight but we just need some grease in there and uh, front ends good there's no play in the tie rods they just need need some greasing um, and that's pretty much it so because of the shop I'm gonna keep the front end this way because I also want to do a tune-up I got plugs wires cap rotor uh, I'm gonna do an oil change on it um, and tomorrow I'll get to the rear tomorrow is when I'll turn the truck around and do the rear but that's pretty much it all right guys so got that tire buzzed on um, all I got left now is I'm gonna pull some uh, plugs and wires out of this change the oil um, check other things it's got that Jeeps have a problem with their throttle bodies um, the IA or the AIC air intake control and what happens is it goes up and down the actual idle of it so I'm gonna have to change out the air intake uh, control and hopefully that'll fix his idling problem and it only does that get this after it's warm <laughs> But pretty much all Jeeps have that problem. <laughs> so hopefully that will take care of that, the idle. And as you guys probably heard in the last video, I had to buy a, which is good because I have it now, wherever I put it. Oh. <laughs> um, one of these. Oh, there it is. Went and bought this because his uh, power steering pump before it came to Ontario from Alberta it was uh, don't, don't ask me why it was replaced or whatever but um, it actually has five grooves on this pulley but it calls for six grooves can't really see that but it calls for six grooves so right now there's a six groove belt on a five groove pulley so it's starting to wear out this belt pretty good so I gotta go to the wreckers and get a new one of them so now that I got that pulley remover make it nice and simple and easy and it was like 12 bucks can't go wrong now all I gotta get now the only really specialty tool I gotta get now is a ball joint installer remover one of those big C clamps but they're a little on the pricey side, so gonna have to wait. Gotta get some income going. Alrighty, so hopefully the new chat, new shop will uh, help me out with that. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's drained me. <laughs> but we'll get her going. You guys will enjoy the vids. Alright, cheers guys. It's all for you.